Welcome to this video guys and today I am going to walk you through developing applications with Livewire. So just to give you an introduction, if you have ever worked with Vue.js or React or any other JavaScript framework like Angular, right? The basic idea is that you write JavaScript for the interactions on your website, whether it is inertia or you know vanilla Vue or React applications you write JavaScript and even in Inertia.js, uh, although it is replacing your you know, templating from blades to either Vue or React, whatever you have chosen to you know, use, but in the end it's JavaScript. However, with Livewire, there's a complete you know, twist. What you do in Livewire is you write PHP code and that PHP code is being translated into JavaScript and the interactions are there you know it on you know you don't interact with the javascript if you, you know, don't need to so um, yeah it's a new way of uh, doing front end development using php and um, you know i found it very interesting and so i you know, felt i should share my you know experience with you and you know uh, with that you know we will build a small little application using livewire so I have a clean Laravel installation. I haven't done anything yet. Um, and so we will, the first step is we will install Livewire. It's a composer package. So we'll do composer require Livewire. Okay. We'll wait a bit and it is done. So let's go to our documentation again. The first thing which we need to do is you know, create a layout and include these assets coming from Livewire. So let's do that. We'll go to our code editor inside views and we'll create a file inside layouts. I'll name it app.blade.php. Okay. I think you should uh, stick to this file because there are certain convention which um, assumes that you are using that file as you know your layout file so you know, this will help okay i'll add the styles in here and i'll add the scripts in here by the way if you know you are on the latest version you can also you know use the uh, syntaxes uh, let me let me show you i'm i'm on the installation right you can you can use this tags as well you know the new tag syntax but um I don't know. I find this a little more um, comfortable, so I'm using that. Okay, so with this, you know, we have uh, the assets pulled in. However, we won't see anything as of now. But before we go into actually creating anything using Livewire, let's look at you know, the configuration file because it is quite interesting, and you know, we need to understand what is happening um, in there. So it says, you know, we need to publish our config file. So why don't we do that? Okay. Inside, I'll just close everything out. Inside config, we should have Livewire. And let's just see. It says, you know, the namespace is defined, which means whenever I am creating any new component, right, it will go inside the app HTTP Livewire folder. I don't think anything is here as of now. The folder doesn't exist but once I create a new component it will go there so why don't we do that um, you know as uh, as the document says first we will create a counter component uh, but obviously we'll look at more things uh, which are real world but you know initially we can start with that so counter uh, PHP artisan make live wire counter right okay and now we should have two new files in our code base. One is inside app HTTP Livewire. I have this counter.php. Okay, this is uh, a class which extends the component, Livewire component class. Okay, so all a lot of functionalities are extended here. And if you are familiar with React, it has a random method which returns the view. Now this view is created inside our resources views livewire folder so if you see the livewire.php config 
the, this is the namespace and it says this is the view path. We can change it, but uh, let's stick to the basics. All right, now this is important, Livewire asset URLs. So by default, Livewire will serve the URLs um, in a way which we don't need to worry about. Let me show you. I'll create a route, Livewire. And I'll return view. Although this is not the uh, right way, but let's just do that for now and get something in place. So I'll go to Safari in my application i'll do live where okay nothing is getting printed because i haven't done anything actually the component is clean so why don't we use this you know it uh, while you you know generate those components right it gives you nice little quotes um i sometimes do read them um but yeah so hmm. this is strange so oh yeah uh, i need to include that component what am i doing so there are different ways of including the component but for now let's just stick to layouts dot no 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 that's not the way sorry it's counter okay i just need to define which component i want to include and that should work yeah so this is the very basic step we are sending some data from a live wire component on the page okay nothing nothing else is done however you now we were looking at the config right so the basic the basic idea here is if you go to the network tab right we have a document and we have a js file and the js files url is livewire slash livewire dot js id is something right so this is going to happen when my configuration is set to null. But let's just say, as the example suggests, if I have something like this, right? If my folder is different or I want to serve it through a different place. So I can do that. Um, okay. And you can, and I'm getting some errors. Why is that? Right, I need to publish uh, that thing again. However, as you can see, it will request for the assets from this URL. So if you have a requirement of something like this, you, know, you can do that. However, I'll stick to the basics and the default configurations. Okay. Then we have you know, Laravel Livewire endpoints are going through a middleware group, which is web. So that's fine. And the manifest file stays here. Okay, it is inside the bootstrap cache livewire components.php. Now, what is this? So, if you have worked with Vue or React, you would know that you need to define your components somewhere, right? You need to tell uh, React which all components you have created, and um, React will or Vue will then use it, right? Um, however, if you, you know, saw what I, uh, I did, right? I created a component. I said you know um return this layout file and in that layout file i mentioned livewire counter but how is livewire able to understand what you know this counter represents we haven't defined it yet so what livewire does is whenever you are creating those components right it creates a, a mapping file which is inside bootstrap cache livewire component so if you can see this is the name of a component and this is the class which it refers to if i create one more component we will have one more entry here so yeah uh, this is how this is maintained and again if there is a good reason you should change it otherwise you know we will stick to the defaults it says that you know for laravel vapor it would be something like this so you know i haven't used it but if that's the case, you, you might want to change it or you play, or play around with the configuration. For now, we don't need to do that. So, so yeah, that's how you know, the basic steps are done. Now we have you know, published the configuration and we can publish the assets as well. And then we will have our live wire 
you know assets on the page and it will kick in those components as requested